Um, I will say that in that discussion with Elon, to me, he seemed quite rambling. I mean, it was like, he, yep. he, he rambles, he goes on too long at his rallies and in these exchanges and at his presser the other day to where you get kind of bored, you lose the thread, you lose interest. Megyn Kelly and Candace Owens have joined a growing chorus of right-wing MAGA Trump supporters who are scared that Donald Trump is going to lose as Kamala Harris's poll numbers just keep going up and up. And they're trying to get Donald Trump to stay on message. They're hoping against hope that he can go against his norms and actually talk about policy and stay on message. I'm going to show you a couple of clips of Megyn Kelly and a clip of Candace Owens, both of them sounding the alarm on Donald Trump. Ryan Grimm and Crystal Ball of Breaking Points broke this down. Check this out. So you're starting to get, as with any team that feels like they're you know, starting to lose, the, the unity cracks and you start to get people complaining about this or that. Now with Trump, as you know, on the right, they never complain about Trump directly. It's always like the team around Trump. <laughs> that's the problem. So that's mostly <laughs> what you've been getting is like, oh, he's got to fire these campaign managers and they're giving him bad advice, et cetera, et cetera. But you did actually have Megyn Kelly come out and make some um, directly critical comments about Trump and his style specifically. Let's take a listen to a little bit of what she had to say in a conversation with Nate Silver. One of the reasons why Trump gets upset with yours truly is because I have been raising that question for a while. And when he has what appear to be senior moments, I will call him out on it. And he doesn't like that. And I can't say that I blame him, but that's, that's my job. Um, I will say that in that discussion with Elon, to me, he seemed quite rambling. I mean, it was like, yep. he, he he rambles, he goes on too long at his rallies and in these exchanges and at his presser the other day to where you get kind of bored, you lose the thread, you lose interest, which is not something you're used to with Trump. Trump in 2016, he was tough to lose interest in. And I think that's probably an age related change. So I think this is one of the challenges of the people around him who are, I'm sure, are desperately trying to get him to stick on message. And Ryan, some of the polling has shown that since Biden has dropped out of the race, people's concerns about Trump's age have actually mm -hmm. increased now that you yep. don't have the, you know, the comparison of him versus Biden where you're going, oh, in comparison to that guy, he looks great. Now you're comparing him to Kamala Harris and it looks uh, very different. Yes, and people don't really want him his advisors don't necessarily need him to stay on message. There's no such thing when it comes to Trump. But right, stay on brand, and and on brand is entertaining and is right. is is interesting. And whether you're gawking because it's a car crash and you're and you're you're wondering if the car crash is going to continue, um, or you're loving the way that he's just you know beating the heck out of the liberal elites and the media and and all the others, you that that's what you want. You don't want to be bored. You don't want to. You don't want to think that this is just an old guy um, telling you the same stories over and over again, saying, oh, did I tell you this one? You're like, yeah, well, it doesn't, doesn't matter if I tell you. And that's a good point by Ryan Grimm here that Trump just keeps seem to be playing the hits over and over and over again. And there's nothing he doesn't seem to be able to go to any other type of a script. Now let's take a look at this clip of Candace Owens. Candace Owens is sticking in the lane of like, I'm not going to directly criticize Trump, but I'll criticize the people around Trump as like a proxy criticism. Mm -hmm. Let's take a listen to what she had to say about how the campaign is going. Something feels a little different right now. A few weeks ago, Donald Trump survived an assassination attempt. And it was very clear to me and I think to the entire world that he was going to win the election because he emerged as a, a leader in his response and in his speeches thereafter, in the way that he communicated with the crowd. He just it just seemed so obvious that in order to defeat the deep state, who I believe was behind this assassination attempt, that we needed to elect Trump. But things have changed in just a very short time. It just, the energy of the MAGA campaign feels very different. Now, at first, I was owing that to the fact that there has to be some reasonable trepidation. You don't just survive an assassination attempt and just keep going. And you don't come out of that not being a fundamentally changed person. I, and I think, by the way, for the better, like, you know, really recognizing how precious life is, maybe perhaps being further committed to a Christian uh, principles as a leader. You know, you're, you're going to be changed having survived an assassination attempt. But there is something else that seems to have happened where I'm just not sure who is driving the MAGA bus anymore. 
So she's not sure who is driving the MAGA bus anymore. Anyway. We know, we know who's driving the MAGA bus. It is and is always Trump. But um, there are rumors, Ryan, we can put this up on the screen, that Trump may be planning to fire two of his um, top campaign aides. That would be characteristic. This is a man has fired, I think, every campaign manager he's ever hired. So uh, it would not be a shock if he's looking at these poll numbers and rather than looking internally about perhaps where he has gone astray, he's instead, you know, pointing at uh, Susie Wiles and Chris Lasavita. Like Crystal Ball is saying here, it makes sense that Donald Trump would probably fire his campaign manager because it by all accounts, things are starting to spiral out of control for Donald Trump. And we have, you know, they're talking about maybe Florida is in play, which would be pretty amazing if Kam- Kamala Harris would be able to win Florida. That would have just been unthinkable a few weeks ago. But Donald Trump has got to be starting to panic and the people around him, because all of these pundits like Megan Kelly and Candace Owens definitely are for sure. Let's take a look here at one more clip of Megyn Kelly. If Trump spends more time uh, uh, complaining about depictions of the crowd size at Kamala Harris rallies, that's really going to seal the deal for that's him. Gonna that's going to turn it. That's going to that's going to get the smart. state voters. <laughs> so Not dumb. Just that, the listening he's audience, still... he's claiming that the crowds, the big crowds outside of her airplane and elsewhere are AI generated. And, and it's just there's just no proof of that. I mean, like. There was a conspiracy theory somebody started. There were all these other pictures from people who were actually there that showed the huge, like, are they all in on it? Is that, is, like everyone who showed up got an AI filter that they put, what, okay. So stupid. Just focus on the damn borders. Mm, yeah, I was th- like, the op- I, I just think, look, Trump is who he is. And I've said yesterday, he, he was, he's too rambly. He's not like hitting the points to where it's like Correct. digestible and the people at home know like China, the wall, the way he did in 16, um, that he was getting away with that when he was across from Joe Biden. It was just like, well, look at the alternative. Now, yeah. the, the moment requires message discipline. It requires it. And not for nothing, but Trump's freedom likely requires it because these lunatics are still determined to put him in jail. In any event, there are all sorts of reasons why Trump really needs to get serious about listening to the very smart advisors around him when it comes to message discipline. This is the thing, Megyn Kelly, can, there is no message discipline for Donald Trump. He can't do it. And he's the person running his campaign, essentially. So all of these MAGA types, Megyn Kelly, Candace Owens, um, you've had, he's not necessarily MAGA, but you've had Bill O'Reilly come out, Nikki Haley came out. And they're all saying that Trump has to stay on message and promote their great policies, which I, they aren't great policies to begin with, but not do this stuff of personal attacks against Kamala Harris and all of that. But it doesn't appear that Donald Trump can do that. So as a result, MAGA is just imploding more and more. I don't think that Donald Trump is going to listen to the people like Megyn Kelly and Candace Owens and any of these other pundits. He's going to do what he's always done. And in this case, it might not work out for him. It didn't work out the last time. It worked out once. So this could be two out of three that Donald Trump loses. But what do you think? Do you agree with Megyn Kelly and Candace Owens in their criticism of Donald Trump? Does he need to be listening to his advisors? Or do you think Donald Trump can just do it all on his own? Give me a like and subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel. Make sure to leave your comments about Megyn Kelly Donald Trump, Candace Owens, anything else that you want to comment on, I'll see you in the next video.